Hello, I'm Claire Fuller and I'm the author of The Summer of Bitter Oranges and I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. Um, the story is about Frances uh, who is on her deathbed and remembering the summer of 1969 when she uh, was commissioned to survey the follies in the, or the architecture in the gardens of an English country house called Linton's. And she goes there in the, for the summer and she lives in the attics. And below her are an enigmatic couple called Cara and Peter who live in, the, live in the floor below her. And she gets to know them. She starts to smoke and to drink and to have a nice time and to go with, with them on picnics and not really to do any of her work. And at the same time, she discovers a spy hole in her bathroom floor, which looks through down into Cara and Peter's bathroom below, and she cannot resist spying on her new friends. Um, it obviously all goes slightly wrong. Um, the story was really inspired by a piece of flash fiction that I wrote some years ago about a man who discovered a hole in his bathroom floor into a flat below where he spies on a woman. Um, it was only a hundred words and so I was quite intrigued by it. Um, who was this man and who was he looking at? So I wanted to write more um, and I thought it would be interesting if rather than a man doing the spying it was a woman doing the spying and so I started writing and that turned into the summer of bitter oranges. Um, Linton's, the house in the book, is inspired by a real house quite near where I live in England um, called The Grange, which is uh, a derelict house, more or less derelict, and it has a big lake in the gardens and an orangery, as there is in the book, but I had to invent a lot of stuff. There is no bridge which occurs in the book. Uh, Frances visits lots of follies in the grounds and they don't exist either so I had great fun playing around with it. So really if you're looking for a book that is about, has some gothic elements, is about long hot summers um, and slightly supernatural elements but it's not really a ghost story then, then hopefully the Summer of Bitter Oranges would be for you and if you read it I hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much.